one verse, verse number 18. And while you turn there, I want to, I want to, do, I want to say this. We got one of the baddest, baddest guitar players in this town. You don't see what I'm Yes. 
a desire to be the same thing to all of us, and that is whatever you need. All right. That's who Jesus is. But we but we all so some may have needed him in one area and he fulfilled that need they had. Some may have needed him for something and he came and he filled that need that they had. So to you, he may be something different. To me, he may mean something different. But when it when it brought me to roll to all of us, he should be our master. Our Lord and our Savior. He wants to be in charge. Amen. So he wanted to know who do people say that I am. Then he followed that up with a question, but who do you say? Who do you say that I am? And then, you know, Simon the Bowen uh, stood there. Simon Peter answered, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Now, in this message, there's a, a great and dynamic lesson that will help us as we walk with Christ. First is know who he is. Know it for yourself. Listen, if you want to know who Jesus is, read your scripture. I can tell you what he is to me. I can tell you how he delivered. Me. I can tell you how his grace will apply to my life. But when you read the word of God and get to know him according to the scriptures, then you will also understand that whatever you need him to be, he's available to be just that. Amen? So we need to understand. So, 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 so we need to
church. The church is a group of baptized believers in Jesus Christ. So in other words, we are our identity is hidden in Jesus. Who are we? We are Christ followers. Amen. That's why a lot of us, our whole identity is still attached to us. Why? Because we haven't lost ourselves yet. We haven't denied ourselves. As long as my brothers and sisters, you try to hold on to your past, you try to stay close to what you used to do, all you're doing is distancing yourself from Christ. You can't, listen, you can't be in a, a right relationship with Jesus Christ and stay the person you used to be. No, he's a change agent. Yeah, he's a change
So we talk about the church. Yeah, he wants to be your safe place when you're all confused. 
until we make it, that's Christians. We must be rooted on the foundation set by Jesus Christ. But I want to tell you, my brothers and sisters, this world needs to see Jesus. And how the world will see Jesus is through the lives that you and I walk. Amen. This life is about walking and not so much talking. Church. Amen. We 
you don't own nothing. If you own something, let me see when you leave, you'll take it with you. I ain't never seen a house put in a, in a, a grave site. I ain't never seen a house put in a castle. Y'all ever seen it? Y'all ain't seen it. I thought somebody seen it. I ain't never seen a car put in a castle. I ain't never seen none of that. You never will. But listen, I seen people put their trust in the Lord. If you put your trust in the Lord, He won't fail you. The church is still growing. Oh, yeah. Man, when you look on the outside, oh, yeah. see these people are making all these statements about the church is in this time. The church is irrelevant. The church is failing. They're not a part of the church. How the world are you going to listen to somebody talk about what the church is doing and they don't know Jesus? You can't get upset about what the people say. They just do what they do. But when you believe, can't nobody persuade me to believe any different. When you believe that Jesus said, upon this rock, I feel my church in the very gates of hell. But to me, this fellowship, this fellowship, and then this, this, this and he said, well, two or three. All right, all right, all right. I gathered in. Right. He made a promise. He said, I'll be in. How many of y'all say, he's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. But remember, keep it right. Keep looking at it right. This belongs to Jesus. We're his bride, the Bible says. The church is his bride. And yeah, I know how the story is about a bride and the groom. The groom coming back to get the bride. He ain't gonna leave that bride. He's he coming back. He coming back to get us. He coming back to get us. He's coming back. Hold on to your hope. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your joy. One of these old days, we will be in heaven. Living eternally with the Lord. But for those who have not yet made a conscious decision to follow Him in hell, they'll lift up their eyes. That's just the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. You can't get in trouble for telling the truth. Man might not like it, but God loves the truth. 67 years. This church has been a light in this city. Not only in this city, St. Mary was, is known throughout the city Amen. for being a church because of the great legacy that so many men, specifically Pastor Thomas Brown. Amen. 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 He was a big man, but he was a mighty man. He was a mighty man. I seen Pastor Brown make some of the biggest, boldest preachers sit down in their chair and hold and hold their tongue till he finished. Because he's telling you just like God did it to us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you do that kind of stuff. Some people don't like you. But God loves you. Keep doing what God loves. Don't worry about what people like. Keep being in the church that Jesus Christ found you. Keep being in the church. Keep being in the church full of joy. Keep being in the church full of fellowship. Keep being in the church full of love. Keep being in that church. And if, if you be that church, then it's unlimited in what Christ can do through his church. Through his church. And remember, he's still at the church day. There may be somebody here today. Maybe somebody here today. In a, in, listen, in a day when, when we're, we're not living up to our responsibility as Christians. We got men that are just falling by the way. We got men in the church that won't do nothing. We got some parents, mothers, and fathers that are not guiding their 
children in a godly way. Yes. Don't worry more about pacifying them, about like giving them what they want. And what they want is destroying their lives. But you give it to them just to show up. Instead of doing what they said the Lord. You really not hear our child cry. One day they will stand before Jesus. Right, and he said, Father, me. Yeah, that's right, that's you right. work over the need of the Father. So, when you rather have your child crying than you cry? Right, right, right. Man, the church, the church is strong. The church ain't weak. The church has power. Power from on The church has power. The church has power. But we need to be the church. That Christ built. All right. We don't need to form our own opinion of where the church is. We need to be the church that Christ built. Stand on the hill and let your light shine bright. And don't just be the church when you're in this building. This is what we come to celebrate and get recharged and we go out. That's where the work is to be done. Amen. Out there, you ain't impressing nobody in here. You want to impress Christ on me? Out there is where it takes place. The church works in the field. The harvest is white. But ain't many people are working. But else the labors are few. The labors are few. The church would desire to just come in a building once a week on Sunday morning. If you're a part of the church, you're going to be part of the church Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. If you're a part of the church, let me tell you, I'm going to be I heard nobody cussing here. I heard nobody cussing the whole service. Come and say, we in church. No, you in church, the church can see you. But if you ain't cussing here, you got a bit of cuss out there. Tonight when you go home, tomorrow when you're on your job, Tuesday when you're with your friends, that we are, you are here. It don't be easy to be that way right there. Right. Because why? You ain't faking it? There's going to change. There's going to change. Yeah. To, for, for the not to deny the change will be to deny the power of Christ. Amen. For us to go out there and live in a way that's not conducive for a Christian is to call God a lie. Amen. I didn't know you did. Don't, don't raise no hand. I don't want nobody to put myself out there. I said, what you ask? I said, I'm going ask next Sunday. So I want you to be ready to go over and fight this and that. But how many, don't raise your hand, I just told you. How many know, really know, you can change? Because you're looking at your life. How many know, you can change? Because he has power. Yes, I do. We see this bridge that's come up here. And I know this bridge come up here. This bridge come up here. You got a specific prayer? Your uncle got cancer? Amen. Amen. Listen. God can do all things but fail. There's some failure in God. But I'm saying this. I'm saying this, this clearly. When we trust in God and we ask God to heal it, this God can heal anybody in any way he can. But don't you know, I've had relatives, especially Peter Lewis, y'all know Nelson. You know, we were just like that. And I prayed for healing. I prayed for healing. I prayed for healing. The family prayed for healing. Everybody prayed for healing. God healed it. All right. What he did, he took my left sick body. See, when you pray for God to do something, God's going to do what he do, but he's going to do it when you want him to do it. But he's going to do it. And Nelson ain't sick no more. Nelson ain't got no more cancer. Huh? Y'all you know what I'm saying? That's the way a Christian got to think. When you ask God to heal, you just be ready. Because he's going to do it. But you be ready for how he do it. Because he can change it. 
no more. No more crying. No more heartaches. No more none. Amen. So we're going to pray that God will heal you. Uncle. In whatever way he chooses. In whatever way he chooses. And, and, and give you the this, give you the spirit, the power to trust God and his decision. And maybe God will to deliver him so that he can lead somebody else. We don't know it. No man knows what God's going to do. But we just need to be ready for when God does. When God does. Amen. Is there anybody else with desire prayer? Press their works. Father, in the name of Jesus, by here, by where you are. In the name of Jesus, we come. Lord, we trust you. We know that you can do all things but fail. Father, without your appearance, just passing through this barren land. Lord, we ask that on our way through this land, that you would give us the power that we need to make it safely through. Lord, sickness is everywhere. But Lord, if we know that your word says your grace is sufficient, your grace will see us soon. But oh God, we ask that you would just help those who, who love us are going through whatever they're dealing with right now. Help them, oh God. Let them know that, that, that whatever you do, that there is no failure in you. Whatever your decision is, whatever you decide to do, nobody can tell you what. Nobody can blame you when you do what you do. So God, we just ask for courage right now. We just ask for power right now. Lord, for you to just, for us to just trust in you and know that you are divine. You have all power in your hand. Lord, you know all things. You can do all things, but there is no failure in you. God bless the family. Strengthen preachers' family, oh God. But let them see your glory in this. Let them see your power in this, oh God. Because some of them draw into a right relationship with you through the toughest time they ever went through in their life. Oh God, we pray right now that you will bless us, Lord. Bless our heart, bless our mind, strengthen our mind, strengthen the fellowship. Lord, let us have a love for one another that just blows our mind. Please, God, we thank you for your daughter and son. Thank you for bridging, oh God. Continue to build up spiritually, oh God. We thank you in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Remember this, God is able. God is able. God is able. I'm sure everybody here has a sick, sick family member lying on, on deathbed. I'm sure you, you pray mightily for them. Some of them slipped away. Some of them got called away. And then some of them stay here today. Whatever God does, He makes the right move every time. Every time. Amen. All right, after we finish this business, and the Bible study courses are up here for this week. The lesson plan is up here. And what to go on right now, media is up here too. We're doing lesson two, guilt. Okay? Last week we did grace is greater. This week we're doing lesson two, guilt. If anybody still have a problem getting on the app, just let us know. We got a few minutes here, okay. so we'll help you okay. get on there. Okay? okay. Stand to your feet. Thank God all of our visiting friends. Thank God for 67 years. Oh, one more time. Yeah. That was, I guess that clap was all right. And I said, thank God for 67 years. Now, you know, since you think you're going to be in 67 more years, when you were right in the next 67. That ain't happening. God bless you. Lord, we love you. We adore you. We thank you, God, for letting us be here today to celebrate 67 years of your faithfulness to the St. Mary Church family. Lord, we pray, oh God, that things were done here that are way today, that they will be accepted by you. Now we rest of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Sweet the beauty of his Holy Spirit. Amen. May the rest rule in the Bible with us now and forever. Let your heart say amen. amen. Say amen again. Amen. One big shout. Amen. God bless you. Let's go eat. Let's bless the food. Let's bless the food. Let's bless the food. Father, we ask that you would bless this food. That has been prepared for us. Lord, we thank you for our guest church who's coming up today to celebrate with us. Lord, we pray that this food will be good for the nourishment of our body. It's in Jesus' personal name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.